Murdy has collected over £20 million in dividends over the past 12 months. Rishi Sunak's wife Akshita Murdy is set to pocket another £6.7 million in dividends from her billion-dollar family tech company as she cements her position as the wealthiest ever resident of Downing Street. Murdy, who has a stake in Bangalore-based Infosys worth just over half a billion pounds, is set to receive the cash after the firm today announced a 17.5 rupee, 17p, dividend to shareholders following a year of rapid growth. She has received over £40 million in dividends since the start of 2020, according to an Evening Standard analysis, making her one of the highest earners in the country. The payout comes amid a 96-hour walkout by thousands of junior doctors after the government rejected their demand for a pay rise. Junior doctors have seen a 26% real terms pay cut since 2008 to 2009, according to figures by the British Medical Association, who claim that many now face lower hourly wages than coffee shop baristas despite years of costly education and training. Rishi Sunak has said he is keen to reach a pay settlement with doctors to avert further strike action. On Wednesday in a pooled broadcast interview he said, We are keen to find accommodation, we are happy to talk about pay settlements that are reasonable, that are fair, that are affordable for the taxpayer and allow us to continue delivering on our promise to have inflation. Murdy's extreme wealth has come under the spotlight since her husband Rishi Sunak first ran to be leader of the Conservative Party in July last year, and was earlier this week the subject of an attack ad run by the Labour Party. The advert, which concentrates on her non-dom tax status, asks, Do you think it's right to raise taxes for working people when your family benefited from a tax loophole? Rishi Sunak does. Murdy last year renounced her non-dom status, which gave her preferential tax treatment on income earned outside the UK, after it appeared to jeopardize Sunak's chances at becoming party leader. The abolition of non-dom tax breaks would raise more than £3 billion in additional government revenues per year, according to a study by the London SCO. Akshita's father Narayana Murthy founded Infosys, which provides IT outsourcing services, in 1981. It has since grown to have a market cap of £58 billion, giving him a wealth of $4.4 billion, £3.9 billion, according to Forbes. Infosys today said it delivered $18.2 billion in revenues in the year to end March 2023, up 15.4% on the previous year, with operating margins of 21%. Murdy and Sunak, who married in 2009, own a string of luxury properties worth an estimated £15 million, from a Pacific Ocean-facing penthouse apartment in celebrity enclave Santa Monica, to a rambling Georgian manor house in North Yorkshire. In London, they own two properties including a five-bedroom muse house in Kensington and Pi Day Terra apartment in South Kensington's Old Brompton Road. ...been followed, and full taxes have been paid where required. But the green card, which he had for more than 18 months while living in number 11, has tax implications, which raises questions about whether the Chancellor has been paying into the US coffers. You don't pay double tax, but you pay uh, the worst of each tax system. If one tax system is at 20% and the other is at 30% on the same source of income, you would pay 20% in one and 10% in the other, you would be paying 30%. Earlier this evening, attention returned to Murti, who announced that she would now pay UK taxes on her overseas income. The multi-millionaire Indian citizen said she didn't want to be a distraction for her husband. But Labour say there are now concerns about the Chancellor and his family. Well, I think this raises very serious questions about the Chancellor's judgment and about what kind of special arrangements that he's had in place that most people don't. I think he really has to come clean about what his arrangements have been, what his family arrangements have been, as well as trying to sort things out now. After what has been a difficult few days, the Chancellor will now be wondering how severe the reputational damage from all of this will be.